delegations of friends from across the world, excellencies, honorable minister of industries of government of Maharashtra, ministers, excellencies, flag officer commanding in chief, West Naval Command, captains of industry, flag officers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a distinct honor for me to accord a very warm welcome to the Honorable Chief Minister, sir, and all our delegations and friends from across the world on board Indian naval ships, Mumbai and Kochi. Sir, we would like to thank you for the support that the government of Maharashtra gives to the Navy, where Mumbai is the home of the Western Naval Command. And indeed, Mumbai has been the home for nearly half of the Indian Navy who have served here at one point or the other. We also thank you for your support to our shipyard, the Malcolm Docks Limited, which builds ships in India and is one of the pioneers as far as making India is concerned. I would also like to thank Mr. Amitabh Khan for giving us this opportunity to host this dinner for the team Make in India. Actually, a few months ago, when he walked into my office and said that, could the Navy do something? I said, of course. The Navy is an integral part of the Make in India initiative. But I said that all our ships will be away for the International Fleet Review, where 50 navies of the world were getting together at Vishakhapatnam. But then I thought, what better way to have a dinner by the Indian Navy on board INS Indian Naval Ship Mumbai, in Mumbai, which is a ship which is built in Mazgan Docks, located at Mumbai. So here we are. And we are delighted to have all of you present with us this evening. India is a maritime nation with a natural outflow towards the seas. And the Indian seaboard has been the vortex of intense maritime activity over centuries. The Indus Valley civilization existed in the western part of the country way back in 3300 BC. Even today, we have a dry dock at Lothal in Gujarat, which dates back to 2200 BC. And it is from these ports of Maharashtra, of Gujarat, that ancient seafarers sailed off to distant lands in Mesopotamia, ancient Egypt, and east coast of Africa. On the east coast of India, we had the seafaring kingdoms of the Kalingas, the Cholas, the Pandyas, and Cheras, who sailed off to distant land in Southeast Asia. And even today, we can get glimpses of India's cultural heritage in our Southeast Asian countries. <laughs> the very docks that we are located in and sit seated today on board these ships have been the site of a glorious shipbuilding tradition. And some of you have witnessed that in your heritage walk today. Exactly 200 years ago, we built the HMS Trincomalee, which is the oldest warship afloat. We built HMS Minden in this very dock, on which the National Anthem of the United States of America, the Star Spangled Banner, was written by Francis Key in Baltimore. We also built HMS Cornwallis, on which the Treaty of Nanking, ceding Hong Kong to the British, was signed. So this was a glorious building, shipbuilding period in this country. But regrettably, when the transition took place from steel to from sail to steam and from wood to steel, we got left behind because India was not part of the Industrial Revolution. So after independence, the Indian Navy took the initiative. We inducted naval architects way back in 1953. We actually built our first indigenous warship, INS Ajay, 
at Garden Reach Shipyard in Golkata in 1961. We set up our design directorate in 1964. And over the decades, we have built over 300 warships for the Indian Navy. And, this, and in this transition, our shipyards, such as the Mazda docks at Mumbai, have helped us to make the transition from a buyer's navy to a builder's navy. It is a matter of great pride today that the ships that you are seated on are both ships built in India, made in India at Mazgan Docks, Mumbai. Currently, we have 46 ships and submarines under construction, ranging from aircraft carriers to destroyers, frigates, and submarines, all of them being built in Indian shipyards, both public and private. That, I think, is the best example of Made in India. It is our endeavor <coughs> to further increase the indigenous content so that future warships and submarines can be 100% Made in India. The seas around us are gaining newfound importance as each day goes by. And I have no doubt that the current century is the century of the seas. The large number of initiatives which have been taken by our Honorable Prime Minister, duly supported by the Honorable Chief Minister of Maharashtra towards Make in India in the maritime sector, development of ports, development of harbors, the Sagar Mala project, and to be held in Mumbai again, the Maritime Summit in a few months from now. I think these are all pointers to indicate that India is once again turning to the seas and is on the right track to emerge as a resurgent maritime nation in the 21st century. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank all of you once again, our Honorable Chief Minister, Honorable Ministers, Excellencies, for sparing your valuable time and being with us on board Indian Naval Ship. I would like now to present the Honorable Chief Minister and our other delegation and friends with a book that was released by the Honorable Prime Minister, which is titled India's Maritime Heritage, and it covers India's maritime history over the last 5,000 years. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please enjoy the evening.